on guys it's um <clears throat> early in the morning um the whole family's still asleep in the house we've got a couple errands to run um because this is going to be a busy day so i'm gonna get out get some stuff done bring some donuts home for the family um and then finish the day come on All right, so we're just leaving Walmart. Um, got the essentials down. Now uh, headed to the donut store, headed home, and getting ready for the day. And check. All right, well, that was a fun and productive day, um, but I think it's time to uh, jump into what we've been driving all day and um, what I've been driving all week, and this is the 2017 Ford Raptor, um, but this has served us well for the day, served us well uh, for the week, um, so let's jump into uh, more details on it. So, uh, I'm just looking at some of the stats. This is a 2017 Raptor 4x4 Super Cab, um, 133 inch wheelbase. Under the hood is a 3.5 liter um, turbocharged engine. It is the EcoBoost engine. Um, and this is to help with the fuel economy, which we'll get into just a little bit. That's matched up to a 10 speed automatic transmission, again, for fuel economy. The total of this thing is um, base price is 48,000. Um, total MSRP is 61,685. So actually not really that bad of a price for everything, considering everything you get, um, the quality of interior, the, the everything that you can do in this truck. Uh, it's a really great price. So let's jump right into fuel economy. This thing is rated at 15 MPG city and uh, 18 MPG highway. So we average right at uh, 15.4 MPG for the for the full week that we had this truck, and that's doing the testing and you know hard on the throttle, picking the kids up from school, driving into downtown for work. Um, so that's that's pretty good. Uh, it might not sound like it. 15.4 MPG is still pretty terrible, but considering the last. Um, the last uh, one that we had, I think we averaged 12 point something. Uh, you can go back and check out that review on TXGarage.com, but I think we averaged ar around 12 point something miles to the gallon uh, during our full week there. So definitely an improvement, and um, it all comes down to the EcoBoost engine, the 10 speed transmission, the all aluminum body, and all the weight savings that they've, uh, that they've got there. So um, hooray to Ford for that. The exterior on this car is definitely uh, one of my favorite trucks out there. Uh, it really looks aggressive. It looks the part. Um, sadly, the uh, the exhaust note isn't quite the part, and the engine is the V6 uh, EcoBoost, but 
but it's a very powerful and uh, well-performing engine. But um, the, exhaust, the exhaust note is definitely something that you'll want to uh, fix with aftermarket as soon as possible. But um, as far as the outside, the headlights are gorgeous. Um, the wide body just looks intimidating and awesome. I mean, you definitely get looks all over the place uh, as you're driving around, especially here in Texas. People uh, recognize this truck. They know what it is um, and uh, they love it. So, and so do I. So uh, the exterior is definitely something um, that we like. Even on the inside, um, this is like a purpose-built off-road truck, but uh, you're not really compromising on anything um, on the inside. I mean, you've got really comfortable leather seats, leather steering wheel, heated and cooled seats, um, infinitely adjustable uh, air conditioning and heating system. Um, you have cruise control, blind spot monitoring, uh, lane departure. Um, you have these beautiful magnesium um, shifters. Um, just really nice, well done interior. And for a, for a performance vehicle, um, you expect a little bit less from an interior, but um, this thing delivers uh, on all fronts. So you're definitely going to be happy with the interior. Um, we carried five people, two, uh, two adults, three kids, um, three kids in the back. So it was, it was a little bit tight for them in this uh, configuration. Of course, they love jumping into the bed of the truck and being able to, uh, to ride back there, but can't do that all the time. Um, so putting them in the back seat, uh, they managed, um, even though it was a little bit tight for them, but whatever. All right, well, that, that about wraps it up for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Um, make sure you check out TXGarage.com for a full review. Go ahead and check out the uh, other 2017 Raptor video that we did. Um, Justin and Brandon did a really good job on that video. So go check that one out. And um, thanks for watching. about the truck.